No one is getting counterfeit, by the way. The call chain is not unfortunately people are way too bought into their side. Um, I don't want to make any predictions, but like, I'm pretty sure Miskip is, is maybe completely gone. His streaming career might be over. Um, or at the very least, he's on like a six month break. He's on the break. He's, this, by the way. he's on the break, but no fing way if it is six months to recover. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Actually, that was a bad take for Destiny for once. I want to watch this. The thumbnail and the title alone of this gave me a fucking semi. So I, I need to see what the hell is going on here. Make him look bad. This is a message that I got from somebody that is very, very, very close to everything. I'll just say that. These are some things that this person told me. Since all the Miz kids say that I'm like biased, here are some things that could move me off that point. Miz came no, hold on. Wait, who just said that? Wait, is that a Miz frog? Are you guys in here trying to run psyops on my YouTube chat? I bet that's a claim that's being thrown around in the subreddit. Wait, you just lied. You actually just lied. There's a lot of drama going on on Twitch. You can pick and choose. It's the Destiny thing. The other thing is Twitch slowly imploding and so on. Oh yeah, that's true. There I agree with you. Yeah. Like Twitch is legit just drama central at this point. Moonchild, how are you doing? To me. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. If this was true, um, I guess I'll just, I'll leak that conversation. She messaged me and she said, Destiny, I don't know what to do here. Ooh. I'm so Wait, did so we not hear this? That. Did I not hear this? I hope we're good. This matches a lot more with Miz and Maya's testimony. I wonder if Barry did lie, but the lie wasn't about whether or not- that Oh, that's true too! Wait, hold on! Dude, I'm so confused! Take. He says so many things! Destiny when there's miscue streaming career is over. No one is getting counterfeit, by the way. The call chain is not unfortunately people are already way too bought into their side. Um, I don't want to make any predictions, but like, I'm pretty sure Miskip is, is maybe completely gone. His streaming career might be over. Um, or at the very least, he's on like a six month break. He's on the break. He's, this, by the way. he's on the break, but no fing way if it is six months to recover. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Actually, that was a bad take for Destiny for once. A, maybe a three head take for Destiny. It's almost like that take is so he hasn't been on the internet. A man that has been here, he should know the history of doing stupid things. Rare bad take, huh? If he had said, well, he could have a six month break, that's up to him. But the no, I mean, just just to be clear here, um, I don't think Knut understand the break. Like, I think it's arbitrary, the number, like six months, three months, that doesn't matter. The fact is, it's going to be a prolonged break. It has to be a prolonged break. Uh, Muskiv isn't just going to start up his stream tomorrow and be like, hey guys, I'm back. Because, and... <laughs> It's not even about having anything to hide. It's about the fact that, what do you think happens when Miskiv goes live tomorrow? So let's say Miskiv said, fuck it, guys. Uh, this is what I do for a living. I'm going live. What do you think happens in his chat? Questions about Adriana. Questions about the cover-up. Questions, questions, questions. All of it about the drama. He puts himself in a position where he can say many things that is completely fucking wrong, right? and could get him into some serious trouble because when you're live, you don't actually have a script, right? You're not, you're sitting there, you're talking to your chat. You could say things that could literally get you canceled in an instant. So it is almost always better to take a break until all of this shit dies. You, you want this to die. You want the, the death of this drama to, to be confirmed. And maybe then you come back if, of course, there is a career left for you to come back to. Which isn't obvious to me, at this point at least, that it would be? Um... Like, like that would happen? I'm not sure. Maybe? But, yeah. Uh, it, uh, it's it's an arbitrary number, but there will almost certainly have to be a break. Internet's attention span doesn't last even close to six months. People remember for a really yeah, long time. That's not actually like true. Four weeks. Let's say he could, he could also take like two, three, but that's stretching it. The thing that I'm basing that on for Miskiff, the reason why I think he might be in trouble is because one, I don't think that OTK can be with him anymore. And he's an equity, I think is publicly stated that he's an equity owner in OTK, right? I think everybody knows that. Um, so the fact that he's like a part owner in OTK, he's probably gonna be ejected from that org. I don't know how many people are going to want to collab with him for at least a while because of how hot this story is for everything. Um, if he's out of that org and if he's not collabing and if he knows that the second he comes back, there's going to be like a wave of hate. I don't know how he'll deal with that stress. I feel like he's going to be gone for a long time. Yep. I do think that he could just stream through it. Um, That's dangerous. I just think he will. That, that was fucking the advice dangerous. That I gave him though. I said, listen, bro. You just gotta go live, meme it off, and 
keep streaming it'll be awkward for like an hour and you'll f just keep going and eventually people forget that was my advice i said you should make a statement or if you make a statement read it on stream and then keep on f streaming that's what i said but he chose not to and he chose to take the indefinite break instead so now we're waiting for now we're waiting for an otk statement um if he's out of otk is he gonna still be collabing with otk people Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. He can collab with hundreds of streamers. He must have streams with smaller streamers that would do anything for being on his stream. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I guess we'll see. Is there any chance that RTK won't pay out his equity of the company setting some kind of clause in his contract? No shot. They wouldn't f*** him that hard. His title was changed to be back soon today, apparently. Uh, who knows? I guess we'll see. I don't uh, know if he would. Do you guys think he would? Um, Do you think he's gonna come back? I guess you can link it, but there's like nothing like, worth reading. Like, this soon. Did I help Maya? I didn't help Maya with anything. Maya has not reached out to me for anything. About a statement or whatever. Ms. Kiff on Fed cancellation. <laughs> it's, uh, dude, there's nothing, I, I feel like there's nothing here that really shows change. And I think change like that requires years, man. But the problem, and I understand what Fed wanted to do it so fast in a year, is because Fed doesn't have time, you know? They're There's new damning evidence against Kyle slash witness aside, bringing their motives into question. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to cover all this today, but so what the Miskiff subreddit has done is they've become like obsessively trying to peruse statements by this Kyle kid and obsessively trying to invalidate him as a witness. Um, I've gone through like half the shit that I've seen, but like most of it is like tenuous at best. Some of it is just stupid. Like, it's just me or is chat dead? I should probably just let people know that we be live, right? Yeah, I think chat's dead. Emma, how are you doing? I think chat died. Like, everyone looked at this drama and they were just like, dude, this is so fucking stupid. I can't keep watching this. Um, so people just gave the fuck up. Okay, what the hell am I going to do? I have to fix this. One piece of evidence is like, if they were so upset about being sexually harassed, why were they making a joke about it like later on Twitter? It's like, people joke about crazy stupid shit all the time. Like, this isn't evidence of anything. And like 95% of the quote unquote evidence that I've seen posted trying to discard everything that happened is basically that. It's like, well, if this was true, then why was that guy in Crazy Slick's chat talking to him? And it's like, you could be for a million different reasons. Like, tons of people in the scene know each other, yep. hate each other because of shit they've done, but they still, like, show up in their chats and each other. Like, none of these things are, um, like, none of these things are strong evidence of literally anything. It, it just is nothing. Um, does deleting tweets make him look Will this bad? work? Uh, it could, or it could not. Who knows? Maybe he knew he was going to be under a lot of scrutiny. The thing is, I can think of like five different reasons why he might have deleted a ton of things, but it doesn't. But but you can't point to um. I wonder if this anything. will work. Um, you can't really point to anything about it. Let's try. This is, this is the thing that I'm looking for now. Um, I'm just trying to. No. It's hard to draw analogies because the situation has gotten like quite complicated, but like. I don't want to fuck up this if, ice biome. If I but saw I'm gonna... John accuse Jack of murdering Jeremy, and John makes a big public scene about it, he's like, I think Jack murdered Jeremy. And Jack got like real quiet about it, and he's like, well, you know, Jeremy was a really shit person. That's all I'm going to say about that. And then all of a sudden, everybody tries to impeach John's character. I don't really care at that point about the, the John guy. Like, I'm looking at kind of like Jack's response to everything. Like, why are you responding the way you are? And I think that's the thing that, when I listened to that call, that was the thing that hurt the most, was the constant phrasing. And it was so bad that even Asmongold pointed out on that call, like, bro, you have to stop saying he's my best friend, he's my best friend. And yep. there was one point of, there was one point in that conversation, I think, where it was either, it was either Mitch or Tyler literally said, um, they, one of them literally said that uh, they, they, they characterized the situation as like, Maya going over to change your mind. And then 
and and uh, Miskiff didn't even um, Miskiff didn't even reject that. He just like let them keep talking. And I, I I don't know. I just I feel like if I was in that position and I knew that nothing like improper had happened, I would never let somebody characterize the situation that day. And I would keep um. I don't know. I would always push back against that. I would never make excuses. Not followed any of this, so it feels like I have no clue on what's happening here. I will try to catch up, though. Wrathchild, how are you doing? Um, it's not that hard, honestly, to catch up. Uh, all you really need to know is that it's once again streamers believing themselves to be very fucking cool, you know? Like that, that's really the end of it, right? It's streamers that think that they're above a, a reproach and that they can pretty much do whatever the fuck they want, right? Um... That's really, literally, the only thing that's happening here. Uh, you have a bunch of streamers that did things that they weren't supposed to fucking do. Then you had a bunch of other streamers that thought that they could get away with sort of hiding the things that was going on. Um, and, and that they sort of, you know, they were above the law, so to speak. And that's really, that's really all you need to know. From here, just sit back and enjoy the fucking show. CDJ, how you doing, bro? For it, because I wouldn't ever want to make excuses for it. I'd keep pushing back. That, that's just, that's how I would view it. But the point is that all things considered, it seems like it should at least bring their integrity and motives into question, especially considering the timeline, how everything played out. No, 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 it doesn't. I'm sorry. I don't know if you miss your family. You don't understand this. Here's, here's Chabot. what, here's what you, know you could it. tell me. You could show me, you could give me evidence that Kyle said in advance. Kyle says, I fucking hate Miskiff. I'm going to do anything I can to bring him down. Even if you showed me that, it wouldn't change anything about <laughs> that. That was such about the a situation. horrible take. It wouldn't change it at all. Because past the point of everything yeah. going public, and then after listening to the call, what I'm looking at are what are Miskiff's and Maya's response? That's the thing that I'm most concerned with. That's the thing that I'm kind of like looking at the most. You're like, do I really think that some weird shit happened here or not? And just based on how they responded, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, Maya's statements have been like pretty weak. Um, Miskiff's, the phone call was just horrible for him in terms of how he looked it was just mm -hmm. really bad true um that i guess like the ultimate question is like here's the issue um if slick did nothing wrong and it was all a setup he would be in the trenches swinging yeah or if maya did nothing wrong he'd be in the trenches i would like here this is like the issue here's like the ultimate question at the end of the day this is the ultimate question at the end of the day Okay. What is the ultimate question? Crazy Slick has like two best friends, Maya and Miskiff. Yeah. Basically. Why the fuck did Maya, Mitch, and Barry go to Adriana's house before she goes to make a statement about Crazy Slick? Why did they go there? What's the point? What's the purpose of that? I haven't gotten good pushback from anybody about that. Why did they go there? That's, it's so hard, and Maya and Miz, Miz did nothing. Maya- Well, the thing is, it's worse than that if you look at the entirety of the framing. Because, not only did they go there, but they texted her first. She then did not reply. Then, in the call, they make it sound, like literally the way they describe it, it sounds as if they're panicked. And, and that's why he sings Maya, right? He's like, oh my God, go check, go check, ah, go check. It, it just looks so fucking bad. Everything put together, it just looks really fucking horrible. Kind of push back against it, saying, oh, I just went there to clarify her statement, I guess. But... Stop that. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think of, like, any other type of situation. Uh, because they didn't know if she would make a statement, and they needed to know if they should kick Slick out. Are you fucking retarded? Ooh, Miz fans, mad in the chat. Wow. Um, if they want yeah, to figure Ms. out, they fans can are really mad. Next day. <laughs> Wow, did you hear like that? Like everybody else. Dude. But the thing- Did you hear that? <laughs> like, chat just turning on Destiny there. Like, Miskim's chat is just 100% fucking molding over this. <laughs> the thing is, is that, like, if she's in that mind state, like, why not, you shoot her a message, and if she doesn't respond, then she doesn't respond. But, like, going over to the house? I'm trying to think if, like... 
Uh, and that's just bad. Uh, it's hard because I'm because guy and girl are switched here, so it's harder to imagine. But like, if Molina did something really fucked up to somebody, and I thought that that person was gonna make a statement about Molina, like, would I send my friends over to that person's house to check in on the statement? Like, it looks, it looks so bad, and yep. I know how that looks. It would be, the that's like just Jesus. It's so bad. Why would you ever do that? Unless you're like really, really, really desperate. I also, um, I kind of skimmed through this, I guess, or maybe I didn't um, put enough emphasis on this when I read it, but um, I think that some of the slick stuff was kind of like an open secret around the house, um, or not an open secret, actually. Well, no, actually, some, how creepy he was was open, but then- Thing is, I, I saw videos of Crazy Slick, by the way, from random girls. Girls that had nothing to do with this entire thing. They haven't even come out to say anything. But from random girls that effectively... Dude, Crazy Slick wasn't just little creepy. Crazy Slick was massively creepy. Like, this was a guy that... Uh, there's one girl uh, whose clip I saw. Uh, this was an older clip where she was actually talking to Crazy Slick. And uh, she gave Crazy Slick her friend's number because her friend really liked Crazy Slick. And, uh, you know, he, he was texting her all sorts of random weird shit about mounting. And, you know, you want to mount. And you can see the girl laughing, right? The, the girl is laughing her ass off. But she's also sort of trying to inquire, like, does that mean sex? Like, what, what exactly does that mean? You're so weird, dude. Um, you know, in sort of like a joking way, you know, because... It's a text message. It's not the worst thing in the world. But when you start putting all of this shit together, you do get to a point where you go, okay, so this guy is just really fucking weird about everything. Um, you posted the wrong link in your Discord. The link you posted is to part one. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking YouTube, man. YouTube makes it so fucking hard. Um, okay, I'll fix that right now. Um... See, I need this link. It is this one, right? Yeah, I need this link. Hmm. There we go. All right. That should be the right link now. Uh, that should work. And, um... The, uh, the annoying stuff was there as well. Okay, so like, <clears throat> this is a message that I got from somebody that is very, very, very close to everything. I'll just Show say us. That. Um, Show us. And like, these are some things that this person told me. So they said that they, and they said that they can 1 million percent confirm the following. And this, I trust this person. Um, but hey, if they're wrong, me, then I'll fuck this person. Because <laughs> it's your mom. Number one, Adriana was blacklisted from any party Slick went to, and he would always double check if Adriana was there. Number two, he cited it as a trigger when he saw her. Number three, Miz also knew the whole situation. I heard him rant about everything multiple times because this is when something was happening. Number four, um, I was uh, told that Adriana is a huge clout chaser and to avoid it all co at all costs. Number five, um, it's been said that she was a predator, and there were a lot of people talking about the Seer situation, um, and that Adriana's going to take advantage of you whenever she gets drunk, and blah, blah, blah. Um, Adriana was very poorly talked about in Austin. Anyone who was close to any of the OTK, OT, OTK people knew that, and they knew not to have Adriana near them. Like, um, you guys... Yes, Destiny is banned on Twitch. Okay, so basically, according to Destiny, speaking to this person that claims that they have receipts for all of this uh, and that they can back it up, and uh, usually whenever Destiny leaks stuff like this, you can sort of know that it is most likely fucking true because Destiny wouldn't put his ass on the line for stuff that he hasn't seen the receipts for either, but the person probably asked to be kept out of it as much as possible, even though, let's be honest, there's not going to be... No one's going to keep anyone out of this, right? We'll know in about... A, probably a day or two. We'll know exactly who this person is that actually sent this message. Um, like, someone's going to figure it out, right? Uh, 
It's basically now, like, is there still people that fucking think Miskiv is not guilty? Like, seriously, is there still people that think that? Because they claimed Miskiv and fucking Adriana, uh, and Maya claimed that no, Adriana was never blacklisted from any parties. She was allowed to attain, you know? Um, they, all of this shit, it, it is just weird. The amount of stuff that's coming out that is completely contradicting the shit that they say. I have no idea who this person is, trust me. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, I've gotten, that's one message I've gotten. Like, it's, it just, it doesn't seem likely to me. Um, yeah, like, why, like, why would Espen lie to me? Or, I'm sorry, I didn't mean, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> It just seems like it seems well, like people. Denise, knew it was going. one hundred percent agree with you. That, Fucking one hundred percent. Yeah. This is Asman. It's actually Erub. He was banned, and Erub decided to start shooting me messages. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Did Adri herself talk to you about this prior? Isn't that all you would need as proof? Um, I'm gonna sound like a huge asshole right now, <laughs> and I. Um. Wait, did that person genuinely just ask that? Didn't Adriana speak to you before? Isn't that all you need is proof? No. I'm sorry. If if anyone came to me, if a human being came to me, and I don't give a fuck if, whether you have a penis or a pussy, it doesn't matter. If you come to me as a human being, a species that is notorious for bullshitting, and you told me something, I'm not just automatically believing that. That would be a horrible idea. No, that would, like, literally be the one thing that I wouldn't believe. If someone came to me and just said, trust me, bro. I'd be like, no, I, I don't want to. Like, this just seems weird to me. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck this guy was thinking, but no. Why the hell would you even say that? Ooh. wonder if this would work. Be right. don't mean it's not like a huge asshole. I'm so sorry, but internet shit has jaded me. Um, Adriana's statements. Oh, fuck. if this gets back to her, I'm so sorry, Adriana. I love you. Okay. I just don't know you that well or whatever, but like Adriana's statements are, don't mean much to me at all because she's like one of the chief like victims in this scenario. I don't know what the fuck she would say about anything. I don't I, like anything she would tell me. I'm going to need 30 par third party verification. Um, I'm not on that hashtag believe all victims. Shit. That's some massive cope. Shit. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. Shit. I'm not on um, that either. I'm sorry. Consider Adriana's statement. It was the stupidest thing to me back in the Me Too movement days where people would just go half, hashtag believe all women. I'm like, wait, so in what world do we live? Where are you telling me women don't lie? I'm fairly fucking certain that women lie too. Like people lie. People are fucking assholes. Whether you're male or female doesn't change that. If you're a human being, you're a fucking asshole. Uh, like, guaranteed, you're an asshole. So I'm never, never on the side of believe all women or whatever the fuck, right? Uh, no, people can lie. And there is a lot of gains to be had uh, by lying, right? You, you can really fucking get a lot of gains from lying. Do I need two of these hydrogen generators? I don't think so. Um, to be like some of the most iffy, unless it's like directly involving her. I'll, I'll, I'll relatively trust like her direct testimony involving her, but like about like other people and stuff, no way, because obviously she has a clear stake in like what's going on there. So no, none of the statements or none of the things that I'm saying, none of it is coming from her, right? That would be insane of me to like just go off of her statements for everything. Like it's a lot of other people and third parties that are messaging me, like giving me uh, information about things. I feel like I'm making um, this um, way more complicated than what it needs to be, by the way, um, child. Cecius, how you doing, bro? Dead man prop hiding, Blasphemous, how you doing? Also, after that day, Miz and Maya said that Mitch came through for them. Why would they say that if they only went there to find out what happened? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Miz admitted he knew him going would be bad. Shows that they were clearly thinking enough. That defeats their narrative that they weren't thinking straight and just wanted to help their best friend. Yeah, of course. I mean, it sounds like they strategized. Um, like, they mentioned there being, like, a meeting and shit. 
So like if there was like a meeting and there was a strategy, like it's pretty obvious what's going on. It's really, it's gonna be, okay. Okay, since all the Miz kids say that I'm like biased, here are some things that could move me off that point, okay? Here we go. These, this is evidence or testimony that could be presented. One, Maya giving a specific re recall of what happened in that conversation. I don't think either of her statements have, have done that well enough. Maya giving specific recall for that statement would be number one. Um, Adriana giving specific testimony about what was said because she could come out and make a statement where after she says things, I'd be like, oh, actually, I don't know now. Like Adriana might say like, yeah, Maya came up and I felt like she was gaslighting me. It's like, okay, well, how do you feel like she was gaslighting you? Well, she was asking me like, are you sure that like Ms. Kiff touched you and stuff? And like, I don't know, that felt like really gaslighting. If Adriana said that, I'd be like, well, that doesn't sound like very gaslighting at all. She might've legitimately just been concerned, right? That's not necessarily gaslighting. So like statements from Adriana about what was said could sway me one way or another. An actual statement about, from Maya about what was actually said. Wait, did I say the wrong name? Sorry, crazy slick. There's like fucking 20 million actors here. Um, slick, 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 slick. Um, <laughs> so Adriana giving direct testimony would be one thing that could sway me one way or another. Um, Maya giving direct testimony for what happened in the conversation could sway me one way or another. Barry giving direct testimony. He said a little bit one way or another. That Kyle guy giving direct testimony. If anybody else was there would help. Mitch said he was there for 20 minutes of the fucking conversation. Um, I don't know why that conversation took so long. But um, yeah, these are these are all things that could potentially like sway the story one way or another. But um, until any of that comes out, trying to impeach Kyle as a witness, I, I just don't really care. He could be the least reliable person in the world. Like I said, there could be something leaked where Kyle literally says, I'm gonna take down Ms. Kiff any way possible. And I'd be like, okay, it does, that, that doesn't even factor into what's happened so far. Like I don't, yeah. Um, Vera, I don't know if we're gonna get such a statement. What makes you think we will? My inner video apologized, said Mitch didn't do anything, Mitch is good. But back then, Maya and Miss said, Mitch is a real one, he clutched up. Why this inconsistency? Yeah, I mean, everything is pretty inconsistent. That's true. Who tipped Miz and Maya off that anything happened? Was it Barry or Mitch? My guess would be Barry, because he's friends with people involved, but I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look. Wouldn't Maya and Mitch be sent due to Slick denying doing anything that night? Stated all a year after the incident, by the way. Couldn't a false statement on Slick stand as reputation as well as Miss Kiff's potential, um, even if untrue? And if it was a false statement, Adriana could be ruined as a result of it. Is it not reasonable to go and check? It's just, it's almost never. Oh, it was, it was probably Novaru's tweets. That's what set everything into motion, I think. Um, it's just probably never appropriate to go over. There, I'm sorry, that's just like never. Can you speculate harder about the motivations of Mitch and Barry? So yeah, I would probably not do that either. Not really. I, like, both of the... I don't know enough about Barry to hate Barry, but Mitch is obviously just going to say... Uh, Fulf, no. I want to say this is better than the Johnny Depp trial thing. Uh, Might be biased, but I do think this is better. Because this is in-house, you know? This is like problems in the world, in the real world, so to speak, right? It's not a bunch of celebrities. Well, it's kind of a bunch of celebrities, right? Uh, having a bunch of problems, but it's not the same, I guess. Uh, so this, I would say, is actually better than uh, the Johnny Depp trial. Uh, at least in my opinion. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> They'd strap the fuck in. I've got a bunch of videos on YouTube if you want to check. Uh, like there's a there, Yeah, I've got a bunch of fucking videos on that shit. Hmm... Say whatever. Also true. Do you think it's bizarre that there was a clip of Miz and Maya back when the original Twit Longer came out praising Mitch, but Mitch's testimony is basically that he did absolutely nothing? Yeah, Mitch's testimony has been all over the fucking place. All Mitch is um, Mitch is lying. I think like Mitch is like a. <sighs> Mitch is like a massive AOE shotgun blast. Like he can like point you in the right direction, but there's not gonna be any accuracy or specificity to anything he says. Like if Mitch tells me some shit like, oh, like John, like John was in Seattle on November 15th, then what I hear there is a like, okay, 
A person whose name is probably John was probably in the state of Washington sometime in November. Like, that's what I would hear from that. He can, like, point you in the right direction, but, that, like, that's it. I, I, like, specifics or whatever, I have no fucking idea past that. Like, it's just very, I, yeah, you can't, yeah. <clears throat> Not to obfuscate from the overclaims for the stream the next day when... Look, I'm pretty sure that Mitch may have fucked this entire thing. Like, all of the the juice that we were looking for, all of the juice that we were hoping for, is with Mitch. The problem is, Mitch have turned himself into, by far, the most unreliable actor in the world fucking ever. And I, I do mean ever. Like, there's never been a more unreliable cunt in this world than Mitch. Because the dude claims things... But then as soon as someone pushes him on it, he pretends as if he didn't claim that shit. Like, he doesn't know what anyone's talking about. I mean, it's just it's just all over the place. It's such a weird fucking moment with this Mitch fella. Ms. Kiff and Maya says that Mitch came and Clutch was clip chimped. They were talking about Ms.'s package that they picked up. Yeah, Asmongold well, will be fine. Asmongold has, has nothing to do with this outside of OTK. Yeah, well, to. yeah. <laughs> He could actually wait, go work true? as a narrator for the Warhammer 40k like, wow, Mitch is like the best friend. Mitch is such. Would they really? Would they really be that happy about Mitch being their best friend just for finding the package? What package? This is the clip. What are they talking about? Actually, I do understand. It's Mitch. But dude, chat. Mitch is a good friend. Yesterday, with this whole debacle that was happening with Mitch Slick. Came no, hold on. Wait, who just said that? Wait, is that a Miz Frog? Are you guys in here trying to run psyops on my YouTube chat? I bet that's a claim that's being thrown around in the subreddit. Wait, you just lied. You actually just lied to me. <laughs> you just... Somebody... Somebody... What a Weasley little liar. Destiny's obviously so biased. Yeah, true, dude. Dude, he stepped up. What he stepped fuck? up hard. He was like, boom. Like, my boy Slick is... is, is There's problems, like, going on. Like I said, we really thought the worst. I mean, I, I didn't know it was going to happen. He stepped the fuck up. He was there for him. He cared a lot. It was pretty much me, Maya, and Slick, in, or me, Maya, and Mitch in a room trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Uh, but Mitch really stepped up to the fucking plate. I didn't... I, I just want to say, kind of sus to anyone that's still going, you know... Okay, so here's the thing. Let, let's... Because we have two versions of the story, right? Of the events. Miskiv and Maya's version is they woke up to claims being made against Crazy Slick. They then... Saint or Mitch and Maya, for some fucking reason, right, decided on their own to go over to Adriana and figure out if any of this is true. But of course, they first sent Adriana a text to which she didn't respond. And then Ms. Giff said, hey, go see if she's okay. Go check on her story. Make sure that we have all this, like the whole story. All right. So that happens. That's one version of it. They go to Adriana's house, they figure out, oh, no, it's not that bad. Adriana then makes her twit longer, and um, Maya basically just reads through it, according to Maya. She reads through it, and all she asks is, please don't say the word rape, because you know he didn't rape her, right? Uh, he didn't rape you, so don't use that word, it's a loaded word. Which, you know, all fine, that's according to Maya. The other version of events is what Adriana and train wrecks and those people and and the friends of Adriana are claiming who were there. Their claim, is, and Mitch also somehow is part of the sort of both sides at this point, right? Uh, but we'll get to Mitch's side of the events because that's a whole new side of the events now. According to them, uh, Mitch and Maya were sent over to Adriana's house by Miskiv to basically intimidate Adriana, to tell Adriana, listen here, if you don't want to be ostracized, if you don't want to lose your standing within this community, uh, you're going to do as we say. And you're you're going to tweet this because this is what we want the world to know. We don't want the world to know anything else. These are the two versions of the events okay, as they transpired. Then we have Mitch's version. Now, Mitch's version is kind of like uh, the, the world's most fucked up paradox or some shit. Because on the one hand, M Mitch and Maya decided to go over there and find out what's wrong and nothing was wrong. But on the other hand, no, it was Miskiv that told them to downplay it 
and get her to fucking walk her statements back. Like, walk back the sexual assault, walk back the sexual harassment. We don't want her to say jack shit. So, Mitch, no one knows what the fuck Mitch is up to, but Mitch has these beliefs, I guess. Um, whatever those may be. Here's what I don't understand about this clip. <clears throat> Miskiff is praising Mitch for really stepping up. You know, he was really, he stepped up. It was basically me, Maya, Miskiff sitting in a room figuring this shit out and Mitch stepped up big time. You wouldn't be saying that if your version of events is true, would you? Because you sent Maya and Mitch out to go speak to her. They came back and the basic thing was, oh, yeah, this is really a big nothing burger. They, we spoke to her and she basically just said he kind of made her uncomfortable. There's nothing really. You wouldn't be saying, oh my God, he stepped up. He's my fucking boy, man. He's my, he's my boy. He stepped up. He did what was needed. He fucking fixed the shit. And it's kind of like, wait, what? Why is he your boy then? I don't understand this. I don't understand. Like, that's not a big thing. I went over to the shop today to buy some food and I spoke to the owner there and the owner told me that the food store sells food. Am I your boy? Are you guys proud of me? They tell me you're proud of me, right? I, I did a good thing, right? I, I spoke to the food store and they explained to me that they have food. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is not, this is not... This is not praiseworthy, is it? It's kind of weird. I need to ban this fucking uh, adult dating thing. Uh, fuck, where is that? Here we go. Um, oh my god, I hate these fucking assholes, man. Uh, that should that should do it for now, at least. Okay. Um. Degeneration, after all. <laughs> so please ban, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking taking care of it. Don't worry. At least I'm trying. I don't know where the fucking mods have gone. Yeah, it's just it's just very wild to me. I we both didn't expect that. He was there. He was just like, damn, like here I am. Um, <laughs> I'm so like this makes and the way that Mitchum said it initially was like, oh, I just want to play with a dog. <laughs> yeah, he was really there. I didn't even really think of that. Uh, he's a good friend. Like I. Man. I think the reason the integrity of Kyle and Barry matters is because despite Maya going over there being definitely wrong, they're key witnesses who have made strong claims, e.g. Barry saying in the phone call that Maya wanted to gaslight her, so he thinks it's important that their motives should be publicly questioned. The thing is, though, is people with bad motives could still make good observations, right? Like, there are some people that I really hate, and it would make me more likely to notice if they fuck up, right? Like, just because somebody has, like, bad motivations doesn't necessarily make all their testimony valid. But again, more importantly, let's say that I, uh, let's say that he lies about everything. Why is nobody else pushing back against any of that? I don't think anybody's pushed back against the idea that Adrian was gaslit. I say gaslit, but, like, that her testimony was changed by, um, my, I don't think anybody's pushed back against that. There's a whole bunch of weird shit going on here. Again, that's one of the big fucking issues with YouTube streaming is the amount of people that the or the amount of bots on YouTube and so it's you believe the ice wild to me that they can't fix it. Miz? Um I don't know. I don't know anything about how, the three how those hey, Bro, you say one wrong word on you uh, in a YouTube video. Like just one. You you say one wrong word on a YouTube video and you're fucked. The like, the algorithm bot it finds you, it fucking shuts you down. Currently, like half of the videos that I upload on the Clips channel are all demonetized because the bot caught me and the bot was like, no, 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 no. How dare you, sir? Uh, but then... They... <laughs> these bots, they, they can't be caught. Like, the algorithm just doesn't know what the fuck to do. It's like, oh, wait, there's a, there's a bot here called Chat Lover, whatever the fuck, must be legit. Dude, how the fuck can you be that on point with one part of your algorithm and so shit at policing fucking scam bots? Three people are related to each other. Hassan's response to Knut's pokey take. 
later. The reason why everyone hates Pokemane? The thing is... The, the reason why everyone hates Pokemane is because she doesn't have her own opinion. She always has the politically correct one. That. Hold on. Don't you think probabilistically, the fact that they are unreliable witnesses should reduce the probability to no? Even if you think the probability is still high because of other factors. No, because I'm not basing anything on my, my statistical chances of anything bad happening aren't really based on their testimony. It's on the response to their testimony. Like here's an example. Let's say somebody walks up to somebody and says, hey, I think you're a Nazi. And that person says, yeah, true, I am a Nazi. Well, you can impeach the person that accused them of being a Nazi over and over again. He said, that guy's a bad figure, blah, blah, blah. That's fine, but I don't really care about him anymore. A statement was made, and now I'm looking at the other person's response to that statement, right? Would there actually be anyone in this world that just walks up to people and be like, hey, guess what? I'm a Nazi. Like, would that actually happen? Is that even a thing that would ever fucking happen? It doesn't matter how much you impeach. Oh, my fuck. Sorry. That that okay. person's character. I'm just looking at the response to the statement at that point. So I hope everyone hates Pokia. <sighs> it's not about the voice, it's not about anything. And as, as far as I know, she's a N-word user as well, aren't she? I thought she was. Maybe, no, maybe, maybe that's fake news. People say this about me too. I think it's more of a self-report than anything else, if we're being honest. I got honey butter chip with real honey. I don't know what this is, but it has French gourmet butter in it. Okay. Um. Not the N-word user part, no. Um, the, the, uh. The, oh, these people have no opinions. They come up. They come with a politically uh, correct opinion or whatever. It's just like oh, fuck. This is hard as hell to open. What the fuck? It's it's more so a self report than anything else. People get mad when you have like like good takes and and say like oh it's impossible. It's not a good take. Okay, listen here. Fuck Hassan. Y you want to know why? your takes are called f fucking woke takes is because it doesn't matter who I speak to. Whether I speak to you, whether I speak to Pokimane, whether I speak to literally anyone else on your side of the communist fucking aisle, it doesn't matter what the issue is. All of you will respond in exactly the same way like a bunch of brainwashed children. But you don't have any original thoughts whatsoever. Your thoughts are all the fucking same. Like, whenever I watch a video from people on the left, because I watch videos from people on the left and on the right, because that's what you do when you're in the fucking middle and no one makes videos for you. You just kind of have to watch everyone else's videos and sort of make up your own fucking mind at, as to who is the least stupid at this given point in time. But whenever I watch a video from people on the left, it's the same fucking opinion. Like, literally, from start to finish, the exact same opinion. Not, I should probably not even say people on the left, because Destiny is on the left, but this is one of the reasons I actually like listening to Destiny, because he actually has original fucking takes. Like, whenever he speaks about something, he can surprise you with some of the shit that he says and believes. You're like, oh, dude, I never, th whoa, I never thought of it that way. But whenever I listen to a son speak, it's like, oh yeah, he's going to say this, and then he fucking says that. Then I'm, like, I can predict the conversation before we've even had the conversation. So it's got nothing to do with having the correct take. Like, what the fuck are you talking about the correct take? Oh my god. Possible. Like, there's no way you have this, like, this kind of opinion. But, like, Pokey even outed her fucking friend, you know what I mean, that was living in her house. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Imagine you're, like, being attacked by somebody and Hassan has to defend your character. <laughs> what, a, what a- how fucked are you? This is the egg sando and it's fire. Train has spidey sense. Oh. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you guys. Okay, I'm gonna get a buck fifty. This slick guy is a fucking serial killer. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, train wreck calling it as he sees it. Surely train giving Mitch 125k didn't influence him at all, right? First off, dickheads, I usually ignore stupid I slander like this, but f it. Mitch had gambling problems he didn't take responsibility for back when I moved in with him in 2017. Second off, I gave him five times what he lost recently, 125k. So suck my dick, you fake news pussies. I don't understand what the implication is. Are you saying that because Mitch gave, because Mitch was given 20 or 125 by Train, that Mitch is going to change his story just to help Train and fuck over Miskiff? Let's say that that is true. Let's say that we go with that. 
Why the fuck was Mitch so wishy-washy on every fucking thing? And why did he almost nuke all of it in the end then, if he was being paid off by train the entire time? That oh doesn't make any God, sense. If this sense. was true, that Mitch was like ready to, um, that Mitch was like ready to fuck over uh, Mizkif because of train, like, the, the story doesn't, it, just, it doesn't fit. His actions aren't congruent with that. Like. Fuck! Mitch was the original, was the one. Sorry, chat, I need to figure this out. That's not gonna fucking work. Um, a bad idea. This, this thing will fucking melt my grid. So where the fuck do I get power? Hmm. One that originally told all of this to train, right? Yes, originally he was. So, I mean, it could have influenced him to talk shit about Mizkif, sure. But, like, to lie or to make shit up? Um... The, like, this whole thing almost didn't even get leaked because of Mitch. He was the one holdup, and it was so close to not going public because of him. Train give money to Adriana, too, if you want to go that way. Sure, Train gives money to fucking everybody. Right, it's like, you pay off my train, too? I don't think Train has ever given me. Oh, he's donated money to my stream before. I don't remember how much in Twitch. So, yeah, I'm paid off, too, I guess. Easy. Why did Train and X care about Mitch not wanting to leak? Um. I don't know what's been said about that. I don't know if I can leak that. He gave $3,000 to Moot? Holy shit, my whole crew's paid off. even believe these people. It's so insane. They're all fucking liars. Kyle and his girlfriend deleted hundreds of tweets on the day of the call. I say. I say. Because you stressed them, they'd look better if they didn't provide proof. The, um, I guess I'll leak because I burn every bridge. Fuck it. Um, it wasn't so much that X and Train cared about Mitch, it's that... Mitch was... I'll say, Mitch was freaking out and was flipping other people into not wanting it to leak. I'll say that much. And so, XQC and Train were uncomfortable if there were other people that didn't want stuff to leak because Mitch was starting to, like, get under everybody's skin. <laughs> that's... so, that's why it was almost not leaked. You're right. Oh yeah, that's true. Or, I'm sorry, that too is also true. If you want to say somebody's biased, Mitch literally fucking lives in, like, the house next to Ms. Kiff. It was flipping Adriana you said. Oh, well, fuck it, if I already said it. Yeah, that was it. Mitch was making Adriana really uncomfortable, saying, like, well, fuck, maybe we shouldn't do it. And if Adri was uncomfortable, XQC and Train didn't want to leak anything because it would have felt fucked up. Oh, well, there you go. Which, again, is in if he's paid off by Train, that seems kind of inconsistent with his actions. I'm saying in a courtroom, he can only know his true intent. I can only say how I interpreted it. Like, asking me his intent is dumb. Also, I feel like I can't speak on- I'm saying- I'm saying in a courtroom, he can only know his true intent. I can only say how I interpreted it. Like, asking me his intent is dumb. Also, I feel like I can't speak on Ms. intent. Only he can. Hey, no, you can absolutely- Like, you're not in a fucking courtroom, Mitch. Like, Jesus. People are asking you for your fucking opinion, dude. Like, what do you think he meant? If you were in court, like, people could be like, oh, uh, judge, judge, fucking hearsay or whatever, right? But th that's not what this is. Uh, I'm intent only account. I don't know why people think this is saving anybody from anything. It's just stupid. It's just more like fence-sitting Jones. Like, it's just, it's just stupid. Is Darius a weirdo or not? Speak to me only. Dude, listen, you're, that's, you live your life, okay? Um, so... Osman, no one claimed that they were raped at all. Like, that's not what ha what is happening here. Um, there's no claims of rape whatsoever. The only claims that currently exist um, are claims of... What shall we say? Um... Like, the only claims that currently exist... Uh, 
are claims of sexual assault, but it's actually more like sexual harassment. Not even necessarily sexual assault. It's only because of Texas law that it's now being turned into sexual assault. Because Texas law suggests that it is sexual assault up until the point that you fucking... Um, it's sexual harassment up until the point that you get touched. Like, as soon as someone touches you, it's fucking GG. Thanks for playing. Now it's just... It's literally just turned into sexual um, assault and you're fucked. Effectively. Mitch Jones moved into S-Man's house a few weeks ago. Yeah, Canute, isn't that literally right next door to fucking Miskiff? And S-Fan is part of OTK. Do you think that Mitch could burn Miskiff to the ground and still live with S-Fan? <laughs> Do you think that that is possible? <laughs> like... I don't understand why it's so hard for Mitch to just say what exactly was said in the conversation. He did say it. He said... You are Maya Higa. You are a woman. Very <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, actually. You did actually say that. God, dude, I went back and I watched this song yesterday. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. It's me and Dude, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> like, why? Oh, man. Has this drama taught you anything? Nope, not really. Uh, I think I'm... I'm okay. Do I, I think all my takes have been pretty room? measured. I think, I've been, I think I've caveated everything pretty responsibly. I think we've waited for more evidence to come out. I don't think I've made any, like, hardcore convicting statements without enough. Uh, I think I've, I think I cover this pretty, pretty responsibly. I think. I don't think I made any huge blunders um, that I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, is there anything you wish you did differently better? No, I think I did pretty well. Did Ro and Mitch split? Not as hard as I split your mom open. Oh, oh, oh we could read um, this, I guess, Fucking if you want. bang, bang. What do you think of Mizkif's character overall? Um, Mizkif just went way, 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 way too hard for a friend. I, he just, he needed to, he had to let go. Sometimes you gotta watch them fail. My um, Usman, you're asking some very fucking serious questions that I genuinely don't have the answers to for you. Uh, mainly because I agree with everything you just said there. I agree with literally everything you just said there. Um, factually speaking, in my opinion, you should absolutely fucking... Um, you should absolutely go to the the go to the cops if uh, something happened to you. It's just one hundred percent. You should go to the cops if something happened to you. The problem is that no one does it these days anymore, and I think one of the main reasons for that is so many fucking streamers, um, like view even something like sexual assault or sexual harassment. They they can't get themselves out of that mindset of content. It's just always fucking content. Everything must be turned into content constantly. Um and this is this is sort of this is why this happens because even when that happens when you've just gone through that rather than do the thing that you're supposed to do which is go to the cops get this shit sorted uh their main their their immediate response is no never mind I'll make this into some big fucking story, right? I'm gonna get... I'm gonna be famous. I'm gonna tell everyone. <clears throat> recently, her friends that was protecting her from him while she was passed out drunk didn't tell her till recently, something like that. Um, I mean, she kind of knew what had happened. Uh, I don't think she knew the great extent. Denise might be correct there. Um, I don't think her friends told her everything that had happened to her because she was passed out. Which, as I said the day of, please never fucking do that. 
Please stop doing that. I don't give a fuck whether you're a girl or a guy. Listen fucking closely. If you're going to a party with people that you do not know, you know none of these people, do not, for the love of fuck, get blind drunk and pass out. You don't know the people there. What are you doing? They, of course bad things are going to happen, and all it takes is one. It's not a case of, oh my god, may not this or may not that or whatever the case. It takes one asshole to ruin your life. So protect yourself, don't be fucking stupid, and you'll be fine. The problem is that so many people don't do that. But anyways, you know, that's besides the point. Um, she, yeah, she she found out, I think fairly recently, the great extent of what had happened to her. Um, and of course, that's where this whole thing really kicks off. Final statement. I would first like to respond to the recorded call from last week that was aired. On stream, I was not offered the opportunity to re represent myself on that call, and thus what I said and my intentions on that day in question were misrepresented. To be f fair, she's kind of right. She wasn't on the call. I did offer her the ability to come and speak while I was listening to it. I said I'd do it. Um, I guess I'll just I'll leak that conversation. She messaged me and she said, Destiny, I don't know what to do here. I put the, sw the sweaty towel guy. She said, I was not in this call and no one else is in to back up what happened. It's just Barry's word and I never said those things. And then I said, I can bring you in in like 40 minutes if you want to clarify anything. And then she said, please, I need Mitch to be there. And then, um, then she said she didn't want to be on stream for this, but thank you for being willing, but she can't do this live. And I said, no problem, I understand. So I mean, like, she had an opportunity to come on if she wanted to, but I, I understandably, right? I guess it was too stressful she didn't want to. Jesus. Uh, that's, that fucking sucks. This actually happened July 2021. She found out, I believe, within the last month. At the end of the day, I, I think anyone that still believes that Crazy Slick isn't a fucking psychopath, it's just, cr it's just nuts. Hey, I want that person on my fucking jury the day I get accused of murder or whatever. Because that person will literally just believe anything. Um, um, what is this? <laughs> Why? Jesus. Why does she need Mitch to be on the call with her? I have no idea. Aren't you wrong in what the call means? The call means the call that happened between Mitch and Train and Asmin is my, that would be my guess, and Barry. Huh. Um... The call, didn't they say Maya did not pick up and didn't want to be on the call? Oh, I have no idea. Destiny, just a thought, but after Byron's passing, Mizkiv, as well as other close friends of Byron, were blamed partially for his passing, for not paying close enough attention to him. Is it not possible that that caused a level of emotional traumatization on him into being extremely possessive and careful of his close friends' mental well-being, even to his own detriment? I have no idea. I, I, that's a hardcore psychoanalysis. I mean, that is, that, that's like next level cope, in my opinion. So, because of what happened to Wreckful, uh, Miskiv didn't want Crazy Slick to be to go the same route as 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 Rekful. Okay, so firstly, I don't think Rekful was ever accused of anything to that extent. And and I mean, even if that was the case, what you would want is for people to treat your friend fairly, right? So basically, what you would strive for is yes, he did these things. Yes, it's horrible, but 
you know, I'm going to try and help him to see if people will at least give him a fair shot and maybe hopefully give him the opportunity to, you know, be better uh, than what he was. I, I don't see any world in which you can make the claim that, oh, yeah, you know, because of Rakeful, he was trying to save uh, Crazy Slake. I think Maya should just sack up and stream in a week. She has a business and employees and shit compared to normal streamers. Maybe, I don't know. Adriana said that Mitch did try to downplay it. Wait, what was this? Hold on, have I not seen this? Okay, where's Mitch in this? Six days ago. Mitch was there saying those things, trying to, thank you, oh, um, nice. trying to make me not say as my oh well you know like he would never do that blah 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 like like you just shouldn't say anything like that's for oh man you know the next day or maybe it was two days later he comes up to me he goes Adriana can I talk to you we go outside he says I'm so sorry I am so sorry that all this happened to you Ooh. um I it was really wrong for me to try to downplay it I'm really upset with how the situation was handled behind the scenes like there's shit you don't even know about Ooh. whoa what and I'm so wait did so we not hear this did I not hear this I hope we're good this is the first I'm time so I'm sorry. hearing this said, thank you Mitch I really appreciate you reaching out um to me with this and then he moved to LA and then he messaged me train wants to message you follow him on Twitter because I had to we knew this oh I just don't message. remember listening to it and then I follow train on Twitter and he sends me this whole thing like hey Mitch told me everything that happened I really I'm so sorry, um, and he was there for me, and, and we talked about it, and he is a very um, good guy, okay? Um, I, I really, I, I appreciate him a lot. He's very, very nice to me. Okay, where's Mitch? Hold on, let me, I need to, I want to hear the beginning again. I mean, look, it's cute. Oh my, it's not cute. It's not cute at all. I much prefer my bosses. Now I'm kind of wondering, but Barry didn't say this, and now because Barry is incredible, I wonder if, I wonder if Barry would cover for Mitch. What did that Kyle guy say? Did Kyle mention anything about Mitch, um, talking to Adri? Because Adri here is saying that Mitch actually did talk to her quite a bit, which kind of makes sense because we later found out that Mitch said that he was in that conversation for 20 minutes. Hmm, hold on. Mitch was there saying those things, trying to, thank you, um, trying to make me not say as my, oh, well, you know, like, he would never do that, blah, 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 like, like, you just shouldn't say anything, like, that's for, oh, man, you know, the next day, or maybe it was two days later, he comes. And this matches a lot more with Ms. and Maya's testimony. Uh, well, I don't even, I shouldn't call it testimony, with their stream shit, um... Fuck, somebody linked that. Actually, I now, so let's say that we, let's rewind and let's like re, let's change our version of the events now a little bit more and let's tweak it in our mind and let's say that, um, let's say that Mitch actually was pretty involved in that conversation. Maybe more than we originally thought. Let's assume, okay, they went over, Maya, Mitch, Barry went over to that house. Mitch was pretty involved in that conversation with Adriana and he did, he was part of the reason why Adri switched things up in her statement. Let's assume that that happened and then now we have on the next day their stream here. Actually, I do understand. It's Mitch. But dude, chat, Mitch is a good friend. Yesterday with this whole debacle that was happening with Mitch Slick, came dude, he stepped up. He stepped up hard. He was like, boom. Like, my boy Slick is, 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 there's problems like going on. Like I said, we really thought the worst. I mean, I, I didn't know it was going to happen. He stepped the fuck up. He was there for him. Mm -hmm. He cared a lot. It was pretty much me, Maya, and Slick, in, or me, Maya, and Mitch in a room trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Uh, but Mitch really stepped up to the fucking plate. I didn't, I, he, we both didn't expect that. He was there. He was just like, damn, like, here I am. Um, <laughs> so. This means, this makes it sound like Mitch was pretty involved. Yeah, but... Do you I mean, think Adriana's covering for Mitch because of Train? How is Adriana covering for Mitch? She literally threw under the bus. Because Adri's, Adri's statements here make it sound like... Okay, where's Mitch doing this? Where's Mitch, Mitch during this? Mitch was there saying those things, trying to... Thank you. 
um, trying to make me. This also is a little bit more consistent with Mitch initially saying, I had nothing to do with it. I didn't say anything. I had nothing to do with it. And I remember later on in the call, it was like an hour into it. It finally came out that Mitch was like, oh yeah, I was there for the first 20 minutes of the conversation. 20 minutes, motherfucker. Hold on. You just said you weren't there at all. You were playing with the dog. Now you're saying they were for 20 minutes of that conversation? Why? Wait, that's a huge flip. And I think it's not just that. It's also that Miskiv says that Mitch really stepped up. But then when Mitch says, yeah, I was barely involved, you know, I wasn't really there. I was there for maybe 20 minutes. Like, in what way did he really step up there? Because <laughs> did there's so many conflicting fucking stories at this point. It's just bullshit, man. It is just absolute fucking nonsense at this point. That flip happened in the same call, didn't it? Me yeah, not say as my, oh, well, you know, like, he would never do that, blah, 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 blah. Like, like you just shouldn't say anything. Like, that's, for, oh, man, you know. The next day, or maybe it was two days later, he comes up to me, he goes, Adriana, can I talk to you? We go outside, he says, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry that all this happened to you. Um, I, it was really wrong for me to try to downplay it. I'm really s upset with how the situation was handled behind the scenes. Like, there's shit you don't even know about. Dude, hmm. fuck me, man. I feel like that. Be like what? He said 20 in his stream. He might have said it in his stream. Uh, we could go back and look at the uh, at the call, but I feel like Mitch on that call initially said that he only played with dogs. Actually, wait, can I just, can I look at my VOD? It would have been on part one of the call, right? It was basically- Damn, August is milking. On this call, you've got one- Literally, trying nobody cares. I have all the I don't care. Yeah, it, I know. It's literally the- um, It wouldn't be call, it'd be dog. Click it, how you doing? It's an extension of yourself, and it's even worse because now it's under the guise of trust. Well, it, so here's what happened. Mitch got there. Mitch was basically there, and he, uh, from what I've heard, he just played with the dog, is what yeah, I was told. Yeah, Mitch, it true? was basically, if you want to know, like, the real thing, I, like, witnessed it all. And, um, there's, like, three... Who the fuck is this talking right now? I'm sorry, that sounded so dismissive. I mean, like, who the fuck is this? Who is this talking? I don't know the voice. I was so confused in much of that call, bro, like yesterday. Oh, that's Barry? Okay, I don't know any of these streamers. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's Barry talking. So, from what we know so far, Barry, Mitch, and Maya were the three that won. Bro! The just play the After call! The Shut the fuck up! Play no play one play cares! Adriana, Adriana, up. It's like, no, sorry. These are the people I'm over to talk about. Wait, so, what? Fuck! Uh, they said he is getting angry at himself for speaking too much? <laughs> oh, that's funny as shit. So we found something more depressing and scary than the 40k universe? Rambo, you have no idea, bro. You have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, I just really enjoyed that because I do the exact same thing. Uh, whenever I'm fucking... Uh, <clears throat> whenever I watch my clips back, I do the exact same thing. I'm like, bro, can you just shut the fuck up and watch the fucking thing? Like, stop speaking every two minutes trying to fucking explain things. Your chat will get it. They'll understand what the hell's going on. You don't need to constantly fucking explain it. Like the Avengers Civil War. True. Characters involved. Three witnesses that what Slick did was true. And basically what happened... Uh, excuse me. I would have to interrupt this uh, because someone just said something in the chat that I find uh, troubling. Uh, Vera, uh, read the word after Tacticus. What does that word say? What, what, what does that word mean? Did, did you just ask me if, I, if I've played a mobile game? A mobile game. I should fucking time you out for that. Like, that is a disgusting question to ask a gentleman. Like, how dare you? I'm disgusted. Absolutely fucking appalled. Jesus. I will never play mobile games. Happened when I brought Maya and uh, Mitch there. Mitch was just acting like stupid Mitch the whole time. Well, uh, he, he wasn't like, it was basically Maya gaslighting Adriana the whole time. Basically saying, are you sure this is what Slick did to you? You were pretty drunk. You wouldn't remember it. Are you sure that doesn't sound something like Slick would do? We know Slick. Exactly. Shit, like, now I wonder, so people were trying to impeach Barry um, as being somebody that was credible. I wonder if Barry did lie 
But the lie wasn't about whether or not um, somebody was gaslighting Adriana, but the lie was about who was doing it or what the involvement was. Now I wonder if he's covering for Mitch here, if Barry's throwing Maya under the bus. Or maybe Maya and Mitch were both doing it, but Barry doesn't want to bring up Mitch. Who the fuck is... Okay, like that? I still and don't then, know who then, Barry then, is, to be thing, honest. And then she was like, if you tweet longer, crazy slick, this won't be good for your streaming career. You won't yes. be like... Okay. <sighs> I am giving you... Dude, shut up! If you're on 29, true, Renee. Dang, man. It was, it was like kind of shocking. Perfect dating age. Like, okay, so if Mitch <laughs> is saying that he was outside of the dog, I don't know why he's even in this call. It sounds like he shouldn't be saying anything at all. That's true. Why is Mitch in the call if he didn't know anything at all? And he was outside playing with the dog. Kind of rhymed. Unless he was actually there, listening to the conversation. To train Rex in the first place. That's oh, nice. that's true too! Wait, hold on! I was making good observations and I didn't even realize it! Funny because what? he wasn't there. But if that's the case, Barry is saying that Maya was way too hard on Adriana. Mitch can't contradict that testimony because he wasn't there. But if that's the case, why did Mitch ever say anything to train Rex in the first place? Why would Mitch ever say anything improper happened if he wasn't there listening to any of the conversation by Barry's own admittance on the call with Mitch? Why wouldn't Mitch contradict Barry or- Sorry, chat. You know what? I, I need to- You can't really ban the emotes either, because you kind of want people to use the fucking emotes in chat, right? But no one ever uses these emotes, so fuck it. Um... Sorry, chat. I, I just fucking lost my shit. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to ban these emotes. Like, there's just, there's just no fucking other way. Like, this is just absolutely getting ridiculous at this point. Um. I hope that fucking works. God, this is so many things. Why do these bots keep coming up with shit? Like, why? Hmm. I don't even know if this is gonna work, if I'm honest with you. Because... Well, there's a good chance that it's not going to catch these, and I'm going to have to fucking eventually, one by one, block each and every one of these fucking emotes. Let's see if that, let's see if that works, at least. Hmm. Yeah, but, dude, if you're stupid enough to fall for shit like this, how are you alive? How do you even live? Why wouldn't Mitch support Barry's story and say, oh, true, me and Barry heard something really bad going on? How would Mitch have ever been able to leak anything to train wrecks in the first place if Mitch didn't have any idea that anything improper had happened because he was playing with the dog the entire time and completely unoccupied? Barry told him? Barry told Mitch and then Mitch told Train? Hold on. That doesn't make sense. I don't know if I asked Michael will hone in on that or not. But it doesn't make sense that Mitch would have communicated that something improper happened if he was outside of the dog the entire time. He didn't hear the conversation. Why would you say anything at all? Like, hey, so you're saying that Maya, Maya, so you're saying Maya, Maya, Maya yeah. 100% yeah. downplay. So was there more to the story? That's what I always yeah. wanted to know. Because like, here's, was, here's the like, she gas litter? Yes. 
I would rather it just, I, I look, I am, I feel shitty. I feel bad for Adriana. I don't know what happened. I, I, I really don't. I wasn't at the house. I wasn't there for this shit. I just wasn't there. I didn't even know Mitch was in the backyard playing with the dog until Mitchell was like, I wasn't even part of it. Uh, it was one of the worst days of my life. I didn't know Mitch was in the backyard playing with the dog until Mitch told me. What does that statement mean? Dude, I don't know what the fuck any of this means. He knew that Mitch and Maya went to the house. Was it a misspeak? Was it irrelevant? Is there anything worth... Because he knows that Mitch went over with Maya and Barry, right? Uh, I don't know what happened. I, I, I really... I, are innocent? It hits different when you say it that way. thing out here is this. Yes. I would rather it just... I, I Look, I am... I feel shitty. I feel bad for Adriana. I don't know what happened. I, I, I really don't. I wasn't at the house. I wasn't there for the shit. I just wasn't there. I didn't even know Mitch was in the backyard playing with the dog until Mitch told me. He was like, I wasn't even part of it. Uh, it was one of the worst days of my life. I, I didn't know. Dude, the level of story changing that happens is is next level. It's absolutely off the fucking charts. Every single story just changes. On a whim. They go, oh, never mind. Fuck what I said like two days ago. I'll just change it now to something completely random. Something that fits me, right? This worked for me better than the previous one. Uh, and it was, how you doing? Just got here. Anyone mind telling me uh, what this is about? Oh, it's... Oh my god, strap in. <laughs> strap in, Evil. No, Mitch was in the backyard with the dog until Mitch told me that he wasn't even there. But then we have this clip of him saying Mitch stepped up hard. Yep. Yesterday with this whole debacle that was happening, Mitch like, came back. dude, he stepped up. I'm trying to think grammatically of what Miz meant here. Did Miz mean that he didn't know that Mitch wasn't talking to Adri? Or. And he thinks now Mitch lied to him because initially he thought Mitch was there or I try to forget it all the time. It was very, very shitty. W w in instead of us saying she said, she said this and that, what can we do to resolve this problem? Because the clear problem I see is this, Frank. It's okay. you and I clearly. Hmm. Believe me, she knew exactly what she was doing. She did the same thing to Andy Pyro. She was f***ing him for three conventions in a row. And then she pulled some shit on him saying, oh, he f***ed me that economy and didn't tell me. She's f***ing crazy. Do you understand me? She'll do anything for Cloud. She's done this to f***ing... Oh, wait, hold on. Can we find... Is it 20? Or is it going to be type... Or is it going to be numbers? Dude, we don't have to argue about this. It is so fucking obvious what happened here. It, like, that part is the one part I have down of that entire conversation. Because once I realized... Like, once chat told me that this entire call took place before... Adriana came out with the accusations, like before she made her tweet longer and before she went live. It all clicked. Miskev changed his entire tune during the conversation. Uh, at first, he was incredibly adversarial towards train wrecks. Like he was attacking. When that didn't work, when train wrecks just kept fucking bogging him down and basically knocking his arguments down, Miskev changed his tactics. Miskiff went from a, you know, um, hardcore attack. Miskiff sort of changed it around and he was like, okay, wait, maybe I can befriend Train. So maybe me and Train can really become friends here. And then Train will tell Adriana to back the fuck down. So maybe I can put this whole thing to rest. Like, uh, Miskiff even said in the call, he told Train, dude, please don't fucking, like... I will not say anything about your gambling anymore. I will take a step back because, you know, I like you. You're smart. You know me, dude. I, I like you. We were friends. You know, we hung out once. Uh, like, let's just go back to those days. You know, Let let's just become friends again. He was bargaining with Trainwrecks to try and see if Trainwrecks would unwind this bell. Asking Trainwrecks to delete his tweet because he's losing sponsors and sponsors don't want to have anything to do with him. Uh, and I guarantee you... It would have gotten to the point if Trainwrecks bit, if Trainwrecks was like, okay, I'm listening, bro. Maybe we can sort this out. I almost want to guarantee you right now, um, Miskiff would have been like, dude, could you please get Adriana to just shut the fuck up about this? Let's just go on. I'll have a talk to Crazy Slick. This will never happen again. We'll invite Adriana to a party or two and we'll sort this thing out. Don't worry about it. Like, just... <laughs> That part I have fucking down. Like, that part I fully understand. Mitch was- Miskiv was being a little bitch, basically.
seemed to be close with publicly is suddenly at Miskip's house the next week. It seems fishy. I want to give up, but I know I can't let them win. Where is the, where's the part where Mitch is like... When does Mitch say something for like, I was there in the comma for 20 minutes. The 20 minute part is part two. And then uh, I just went, I was in the room for a little bit, but I wasn't really adding anything to anything. I mean, it was mainly but he Maya up. and Adrian and Lee talking. He fucking stepped up. Right. Wait, Apparently so he, he was his boy. To the conversation? Wait, why did he say he was uh, with the dog? I wasn't there for all of that conversation. Uh, cause a lot of the time I just spent outside with the fucking dogs cause they were dope. Uh, and I was outside with the dogs, but when we first got there, I'd say I was in there for the first like 20 minutes, kind of just walking minutes? around the counter. I think I- Why didn't he say this at all on the call? No, I if mean- he's saying that it was just Maya, if he's trying to say that it was just Maya talking the entire time, how can he even know that if he was only there for- initially said it wasn't there at all, then he said he was in the room for 20 minutes. We've got Maya and Mizkiff over here saying that Mitch stepped up big. Now, now I think Mitch's involvement in this was actually way, 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 way bigger than... It was probably way bigger. Huh. It was probably uh... way fucking bigger. It would make more sense too, right? Things start to, things start to slot in. Things start to make way more sense in this version of events. Mitch firsthand has information of a lot of the stuff that was going on that he was able to relay to train. Mitch has a much bigger first party involvement. It makes a lot of sense why he's really scared about anything going public. He's not just worried about Mizkiv, he's also worried about himself. Yep. Mitch messaging Maya later to say that he feels bad about things like also makes more sense given his involvement in the conversation. Although all of these things could have alternative explanations as well. Mitch feeling really guilty in talking to train slots and more here. You have to be careful because you can like start to retroactively refit evidence. So I'm trying not to do that. Um, there are still other possible explanations, but... <clears throat> hey, what's up? Good evening, good evening. Good evening. I just have to say, uh, no. I'd already ask first, who do you think will be in Camp Knut 2? Do you think there will be any of the same? Well, we know e Rob's going to be there. <laughs> True. Um, oh, but I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck things are going to look like a month or six months or 12 months from now. I know. I, I just feel like it's so much assumptions going on in all communities right now. Um, a little bit, yeah. Uh, it doesn't help that this happened, like, literally yeah, a fucking year ago. That's how it should happen, years ago? right? The assumptions are the, the, what the, we the, live the, for. The, the, bad, the, the really bad stuff is two years ago, uh -huh. isn't it? Or am I wrong? I don't remember. I think it's the beginning of 2020. Maybe. Oh, January 2020, okay, yeah. Oh. Uh, th this, is, this is what I want to say. Like, I feel like without... <laughs> with Mitch Jones involved in... Because uh, it is only Mitch, Maya, and Miskif that can really know what was set up, set up from. Mm -hmm. No one else. Well, Mitch, uh, Maya, would... Miskif in their initial meeting, and then when it came to yeah. talk to Adriana, it would be Avery, Barry, but... Mitch, and Kyle, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and and you have Mitch and now Miss and Maya, pretty much similar stories. Those two. Well, no, that's not true. Mitch's story isn't even is similar a... with his own story. No, 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 no. I'm saying. I was at Miss and Maya. Pretty similar stories. Um, yeah, a little bit. Although Maya's statements have been very light. Um, yeah, because she's oh, she hasn't said anything about Miss Kiff at all. She hasn't even mentioned this. Yeah, name. but she's not giving very many details about her conversation with Audrey uh, with Adri either. No, true. <coughs> I think we will never know the truth. Um. I think we can. Yeah, it's like a fucking deep Norwegian accent that. Um, so, Click8, we already, uh, like I discussed it earlier as well. It's because actors and streamers have this complex where they genuinely believe that they are the most important people in the world and that everyone cares deeply about what they do and how they do it. So, whenever. 
actors and and sort of you know um celebrities and streamers and stuff whenever they have dirty laundry that dirty laundry has to be sort of expressed and shown to the entire world uh before they can move on they can't keep shit to themselves they will never keep shit to themselves it's just not fucking possible so that's why this is happening and this that's why it's always public because everyone wants their dirty laundry to be aired out in public which actually is a little bit annoying because i i could take myself as an example here i would never and i mean fucking never allow um <clears throat> my dirty laundry to be aired in public uh unless it was not by my own admission right or not up to me so if i did something terrible uh then of course there's nothing i can do about it it's going to be aired out in public there's literally fuck all i can do about that um but if i have any choice i would never have that should be aired out in public Get all f like four or five of them in a room, I think. Yeah, yeah, but will that ever happen? Probably not. I'll make it happen. That's what Camp Canute 2.0 is. <laughs> we, we can invite all of them, pretend we're having this awesome event. Yeah, don't tell them anything about pulling. Yeah, I <laughs> act like you're inviting a hundred people, but it's just them five at the end of the day in a cage match yeah. debate. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. This is what I'll do. I'll, I'll find some uh, made up competition I have to do. Go one room each, and then you step in. They're. they're uh, they, they will just be there, handcuffed to a chair, and you <laughs> ask them questions. <laughs> Maybe, dude. Jeez. No, I'm just kidding. This is... Um, uh, that was a joke chat. Oh, yeah, We're no, not no, going we know, to we do know, that. We know, we know. You never know what's being clipped these days. True. <laughs> but... I mean, chat, is, chat can be pretty... fucking daunting if they want to be, right? When you bring up the idea of like eugenics, right? Like, is one race better than the other? You should kind of like sit there and be like, w w wait a minute, this is like a really old school, like Nazi era talking point. Let's wait. I think we moved on. I think that's the end of the video. Um, yeah, that is the end of the video. I was, uh, I was a little confused. Suddenly, we're talking about Nazis and shit. I'm like, wait, what? the fuck just happened here <laughs> like holy shit uh <laughs> dude i <laughs> this was very confusing to me like oh my god we've just crossed over like whilst everything was happening with adriano they were also doing nazi salutes and crap what the fuck <laughs> like this is next level shit that's going on right now uh but i right, that's another video uh